Hello students, parents, guardians. I wanted to give this quick tutorial regarding the gradebook in the Buzz system. Uh, for this current tutorial, I am logged in as a student. So this is what it would look like on your screen. I'm using a fake student. So this fake student is enrolled in a lot of courses. You would only be seeing the courses that you are currently enrolled in. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to focus on the social studies grade five. Again, this it's the same process for any course, so it will work for you too. But what I'm looking at, I'm on the main screen in Buzz when you're logged in as a student, and I'm looking at my social studies course. And on every single course, including this one, if you scroll around, you can see this little thing that looks like a graph. And when you highlight it or roll your mouse over it, it says grades. This will let you access your grade book. So I'm going to click on it for this particular student. And you can see these are the assignments that this student has had in the buzz system. So on the first assignment, they completed it 100%. Second assignment, completed it 75%. The next two assignments are at 0%. Now, me personally, as a teacher, when a student doesn't complete an assignment on time, I give them a zero until they complete it. Uh, your teacher may or may not do that. The other thing that they may do is just leave it blank. And so if you click or if you, you come in here and these two things are blank, there's nothing in them. It means you haven't completed them yet. And so that is something that you need to do and turn in. And so I want to figure out what what is it that I didn't do? There's something I didn't do. I want to get it taken care of. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to look. This is the module 1.03 from Woodlands to Plains. So I need to go out to this module and see what in the world is going on. Why didn't I do this? So an easy way to do this, you can go to your little three tab screen. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to just jump instead of the grade book, I'm going to jump up to activities. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go down to my module where it's the 1.03 from Woodlands to Plains. Now, how uh, Buzz is set up, this is usually the, your slide presentation, the module you have to work through. Uh, this is something that you have to turn in. Uh, but what I have found out is usually the assignment is actually listed into the slides. So you have to go into it to see what the assignment is. So I'm gonna click on this top tab. And what I have learned is that almost all, well, always so far, now. It could change, but always so far, the assignment that the student has to turn in is always on the last slide. Now, you have to work through every single slide so that you can gain the knowledge in order to complete the assignment. But the assignment you're going to complete is on the last slide. So on this one, there's seven slides. I'm going to jump to the last one and jump to seven of seven. And right here off the bat, it says, what is my assignment? It's time to show what you know, complete the activity. You need to print the from woodlands to plains, read the instructions and complete the chart, answer the questions and then submit your work. So right here, this little print button, if you click on it, this is your assignment. So for this particular thing, I have to complete the chart with information you learned about the Eastern Woodlands and Great Plains, include two to three point form notes for each box. Uh, food has been completed for you as an example. So what I have to do, I have to complete this table. Uh, it's comparing the Eastern Woodlands and the Great Plains, and I have to put three different things on every one of these boxes. I also scroll down. This is page two. I have to answer two complete questions or two questions completely uh, and turn it in. This is my assignment. So I know not everybody, everybody doesn't have a Chromebook. Everybody doesn't have a printer right now. So there are several different ways you can do this. Uh, you can either you can print it out and do it. You can make this a fillable form on the device you are using and type in it, type it in. Or if you don't have anything, you can just create create this assignment on a piece of notebook paper. And when you're finished with it, you can take a picture of it. Now, once you are complete and you either have the document saved, a picture saved, whatever it is saved that you completed the show that you did this, that the teacher can see your work. You need to send it to your teacher. There's two different ways you can do it. And I know with uh, technology right now, we're dealing with a bunch of, bunch of different things. If you cannot attach it in the buzz system, 
email that picture or that document to your teacher and just let them know, hey, this is my 1.03 from Woodlands to Plains assignment. So when they open it, they know what it is and they can give you the grade for it. Uh, the other thing that you can do, and I apologize, this is not unlocked for me right now, but I can go, I can go back to the second tab, the bottom tab. And when I click on this, this one's already been closed, but normally you would see in this box a giant plus sign. And when you click on that plus sign, it will allow you to start typing here. But there's also an, a, a paperclip button that you can click that paperclip and attach your document to Buzz. And once it's attached, you hit submit. And now the teacher has your work. Now, again, I know with technology right now, everybody can't do it this way. So I know most teachers uh, would allow you to send an email of a picture of the completed work, and then we can take care of it and go in and put it into the Buzz system. But what you need to do is you need to go through, probably weekly at least, if not daily, you need to go to your courses on your home Buzz screen and you need to click on those graphs and see if you're missing anything. Now, I haven't even checked this one. Uh, let, let, this one, I'm trying to find something that might have some progress in it. Um, but I might click on English just to see. Uh, well, look at all these assignments, and I don't have anything in here. So I would need to go to every single one of these and complete it. I hope this tutorial helps uh, parents, guardians, those especially of the elementary nature. Uh, we need your assistance to help follow up and make sure that your student is completing everything that they are completing. Um, Buzz, it's hard for us to give you a compound report of everything they're missing. Buzz is not really built that way. I apologize. I wish I could do a one-click report and send it to you and tell you everything your child is missing, but the capabilities of Buzz does not allow that. So we need your help at least weekly, if not daily, to click on every course and make sure at the end of the day your student is not missing anything. And if they are, Help, help them figure out what it is they're missing. Thank you all for watching.